Hi everyone, today we're drawing puppies. Now we're not drawing two or three, we're drawing 10. All different breeds, it's gonna be really fun. So grab a pen or a pencil, a piece of paper, and let's get drawing. Labrador. Okay, so the Labrador. Let's start with a curved line at the top here, okay? So this will be the top of the head. Okay, just like that. Then we'll draw an ear that comes down like that. And then there'll be another bump that comes out like that and curves. And then we'll come back up like that, okay? We can do that on the other side as well. Okay, so we've got the ears. Then we'll draw a line like that and like that. And we can put in the eyes here and another one here. Some lines just above the eyes for a bit of expression. Finish those eyes off like that. And the nose, align the top and down on each side. And continue that down like that and finish that off like that. And align underneath. And Start the mouth, there we go. And we'll have the tongue sticking out on our Labrador. There we go. And the bottom of the mouth, two lines just like that. Okay, so now we'll draw the body and we'll have him sort of laying down or sitting down, line on each side, then a line that comes out like that, and on that side as well. And we'll draw his little paws. There we go. And we'll put his rear legs. There we go. And a wagging tail. Put some lines to show that it's wagging. And we'll just pop in some, some ground there. There we go. Maybe a few little lines just to show he's got some fur. Or some hair, dog hair. There we go. And I'll just use a thinner pen to put in a, a few little whiskers for our little pup here. Okay, our Labrador puppy's all done. We'll add color to all of the drawings at the very end, so keep watching for that. All right, on to the next puppy. French Bulldog. Okay, let's begin our French Bulldog. 
with the top of its head. Okay, we'll just draw a curved line like that. And we'll continue that down to there. And same on the other side. Almost a full circle. We'll leave space because from here we'll be drawing, you can start from one side and we'll be drawing the front of, or its nose I should say, and its mouth. In a shape just like that and curved line underneath. And we can put its nose in this space here. So a curved line and down and some little nostrils to finish off the nose and a line. Okay, we can put some lines in here, show some of the skin folds and some nice big ears and we'll come back and we'll do the eyes. So shapes like that for the ears. some shapes inside as well. Great, okay. Now the eyes. Let's draw a circle here and a circle here. And circle inside. And another circle inside. And we can color that in black. <laughs> there we go. We can put some lines under here like this. And some lines above the eyes. And maybe another line here and one there. All right, that's great. Let's do the body. So we'll draw a line that comes down like that and one on the other side. And we can draw its paws in shapes like that. And some lines here and lines like that to finish off the legs, the front legs. And the rear legs will draw a curved line here and its rear foot. Same on the other side. There we go and just a line there to finish off the belly. We can put in the ground here. Excellent. And a thinner pen for a few little whiskers. There we go. Very cute. And maybe a few little hairs up here. And maybe at the top here as well. Okay, our French Bulldog's done. On to the next puppy. Golden Retriever. Okay, so we'll start with the Golden Retriever's hair at the top here. Now, we'll draw some little lines. Instead of drawing a solid, one solid line for the head, we'll draw some, some um, wispy lines because we like to capture that, that longer hair of the Golden Retriever. So we'll, we'll go like this.
Okay. And come around to form its ear and then back up. There we go. Great, okay. So we'll finish off the head here. And now the eyes. Line like that. And nice big eyes. You can draw line in circle inside. Finish them off like that. Some lines at the top here. Again, just to show its longer coat. And shape like that. And on the other side. The mouth. There we go. And we'll draw in the nose. There we go. And the body, again, the longer coat, so we'll draw lines like that to show the longer hair. and form its legs and its paws like that. Finish off its paws. And we can add in some more lines through here. Great. Now it's rear legs. There we go, he's sitting down. And wagging a tail. <laughs> there we go, great. And we can put, put in some ground. There we go. And again, a thinner texture for a few little whiskers. Great. Our golden retriever's done. On to the next puppy. German Shepherd. Okay, so let's start at the top here. We'll draw the head here and the body down here for our German Shepherd. Now, Let's begin with a curved line, just like the others, drawing the top of its head, and we'll come down on each side like that, and down like that, same on the other side leaving some space at the bottom here. Okay, now we'll, we'll draw in the ears. Great, and a 
different shapes in the ears. Now, let's draw in uh, the mouth. And what we'll do is we'll come down this way. And draw a shape like that. And then we'll pop in that part. And then we'll draw in the nose through here. So you can draw a line here and then draw an upside down triangle shape for all the noses that we've been doing. We put in some nostrils on the nose and shape like that. Okay, now we'll draw in the eyes. And like that. And we can draw in the eyes. Finishing them off like that. Great. And some shapes at the top there. Great, all right, uh, the body now, okay. So we'll draw a line that comes down like that, and another one on this side, which is its legs, and some nice big paws, back up, and a line there for its chest. And finishing off this paw, there we go. And we can draw in its back legs. There we go. And we can put in some ground here to show where he's standing. Great. Excellent. And a tail wagging in the back here. Maybe some shapes to show where we'll have some different colors later when we color, color him in. We're missing some whiskers, so we can draw those in with a thinner pen. Great. And maybe we can put in some eyelids here. Finish off those eyes. Great. All right, that's our German Shepherd. All done. Now to the next puppy, Poodle. Okay, so let's go to the top again and draw a curved line for its head. And we'll be drawing its nice big ears down here for our Poodle. Floppy ears, hanging down. All right. And we'll draw in a shape 
that looks like this. So we'll draw a curved line here. All right, so draw that shape in. And then we'll draw in another curved line here. And we'll put in a little nose. Now make sure you put the nose in nice and low in this space up here. And it's just a little nose, little line there. Okay. And we're gonna have a little tongue sticking out. All right, now the eyes on the poodle will be here and here. Like that. Okay. Some little lines in here to finish off the face. Great. And its body will draw a line there and another one there and draw in some feet and legs. Line like that and over. Okay. And finish off those little paws. And we'll have her sitting There we go, and wagging a tail. Drawing some ground here. And I'll switch to a thinner marker because I'd like to pop in some, some lines here. Some little curled lines just to show the coat or the hair of the, the poodle. They have lovely, soft, curly coats. <laughs> Great. All right, lovely. Our poodle's done. On to the next puppy. Bulldog. Okay, just like the others, a curved line at the top for our head. And we'll come down out here and draw these triangle shapes for our bulldog ears. Same on the other side. Okay, now we'll draw a line like that and then we'll draw one that goes like that and one like that to show the that soft rolly skin. There we go, same on the other side. And we'll draw the mouth through here in this shape and curved line at the bottom and then in this space its nose the line there and its eyes of a line here and a line here. Then we'll draw its eyes just like that. And put some eyelids on him. There we go.
<laughs> Great. All right. Now, some lines above the eyes. And above the nose. And here. And now the body. So we'll draw a line that comes down. And another one here. And here's pause. Great. And a leg and a leg and a curved line like that and it's rear legs and feet and pop in there we go and we can put in some ground standing on there we go Excellent, and a thinner pen for some metal whiskers. And some lines here and there to show its skin folds. There we go. All right, our bulldog is done. On to the next puppy. Beagle. So our beagle will start with the top of its head. A curved line. And we'll draw its ears coming out here. It's a curved line. Big ears. Okay. So take your time and just draw that shape. And we'll be doing it on the other side as well. So out we go. And down. Okay, then we'll draw lines in here to finish off the head. Great. Now we will draw in its mouth down here. Okay. and a wavy line at the bottom there. Now, a short little line there, and the nose. Again, that triangle shape. There we go. Now, it's eyes, a line here, and a line here, bottom of the eyes. One eye and two eyes. Okay, now inside the eye, you can draw some more oval shapes. We'll be adding color to those later. And some lines above the eyes. When we color them later, we'll be able to leave sections white and do other parts brown, just like the different breeds have. Okay, 
So we'll draw a line down there. And another here. We'll draw its front, front legs here. So we draw its belly. And a paw there. Paw here. There we go. And we'll draw this one a little bit differently to the others. We'll have back leg here, belly here. There we go. And its other leg can be seen through there. And wagging its tail. Great. Drawing some ground. Finish off those front paws. And a thinner marker for its, its whiskers. Great. Okay. All right, our beagle's done. On to the next puppy. Corgi. All right, we'll begin our corgi at the top, as always, with a little curved line that then comes down this way and down on the other side and forms a shape like this. And we can go to there and we'll draw in some big ears. Like that. Okay. And let's put in its eyes here. There we go. And some lines just above its eyes here. And in the ears, actually, we can put in some extra shapes. And the nose, curved line. And down to a point with a line underneath. And we'll draw its mouth. And this line can continue up actually, like that. And we'll have its tongue sticking out. There we go. And bottom of its mouth, you can draw like that. Okay. And so what we can do here now is Actually come down like that and like that and draw its leg here and another leg here and we'll draw some nice big paws its legs and what we can do here is Draw in sort of this will be a different color to the legs. Okay. And it just shows a bit of the, the hair, a bit of texture. And its feet with some ground back here. Finish off some ground there. 
some back legs. And another one here. And wagging it. A tail. There we go. Great. There we go. And our corgi's done. All right, on to the next puppy. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Okay, so a curved line at the top. There we go. And now the Cavalier has some big sort of long haired ears. So we'll do lots of wavy lines here. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll come down like this and like that. And the same on the other side. And we'll draw in some wavy lines for its big, long, floppy, is here. There we go. Great. All right. So we can draw in it. Uh, let's do the eyes. So let's draw some circles for the eyes. And maybe some, some eyelids with some eyelashes. There we go. And another circle inside. And another circle inside. Colored in black. Little white area. There we go. And some little lines underneath its eyes. There we go. All right. Great. All right, the nose. So curved line there. And then we'll come down, make that upside down triangle shape and a line. And put in some little nostrils here. Pinch off that nose. And now we'll draw a shape that goes around here like this. And up and down. So we can draw that shape in. And a little curved line here. And we'll color this part in black. Finish off that mouth. There we go. Now, hmm, the legs. Let's draw in a line here and a line here with some little feet. There we go. And finish off those little paws. And we'll, we'll pop in some lines here to show it's long hair. There we go. And it's legs back here. There we go. And it's tail. out here on the ground. Okay, and a thinner marker for a few whiskers. Great, all right, that looks good. A few long hairs here and there. Okay, our Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is done. On to the last puppy. Duck sound or sausage dog.
So we'll be drawing our duck's hound side on so we can show its long body, okay? So let's start with its ear, which is a triangle shape. It's upside down. A line there. And its pointy nose. Come up with a smile. And a line here for its nose. We can actually color that in if you'd like, leaving a little shiny area for its nose. There we go. And draw in its eye here. The bottom of its mouth here. We'll draw a line down here and a line down here. Curved line here. Let's draw its leg. And out. And down. And across. And back up. Curved. There we go. And we can draw its other leg just next to it, the front here. Now we'll draw its back like that. And we'll draw its belly that curves up like that. And its back leg. It's a little bumpy up and then down. There we go. And down and across and up and to there. And we'll continue this line and we won't actually meet up with this line. We'll go past it like this and draw its little tail. Okay. And its other rear leg. Sit back here beside it. There we go. All right. We can pop in some ground here. And a thinner marker for your little whiskers. There we go, maybe a little line up the top there above its eye. Okay, our duck sound is done. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. It's time to add some color to all of our puppies. Let's get coloring with textures, pencils, whatever you have handy, and I'll see you at the next episode. Bye. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on new drawing lessons. Bye.